Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anurag, and today in the JavaScript tutorial, I'll show you what is change event. And in my last video, I had shown you what is submit and reset event. So both four events come under form events. Okay. So now in this video, I'll show you what is change event. So now I'll go to the HTML file and I'll show you. But before that, I will tell you when this event occurs. If you change any input value, so that time this event occurs. So I'll go to the HTML file. Now in this body tag. Here you can see I have added one input field already. The input field type is text. By the way, here you can add any other kind of input field. There is different kind of input field. If you know the basic HTML, so you know already. So you can add any input field for this example. And now here I have added one placeholder and the ID. Just for taking the reference of this input field, this ID I have taken here, and the ID name is my input. By the way, this ID name you can add anything. Now the event is change. So here the mandatory thing on every time I says like this, if you write any kind of JavaScript event, you have to write the on and then you have to write the event name. So here on and the event name is here change. So I will write a change on change. Now here you have to define one kind of function. The function name it can be anything again. So here I will write the my function. By the way, if you want, so you can write the relevant name as well, and that will be the better. So now. Here you have to add the parenthesis. This parenthesis is the common thing that will denote like this is the function. Okay, I hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section or you can you can just connect me in Instagram. Instagram ID will get in the description. Now I'll copy this function name from here and I'll come to the script part, which is the main thing. So here you have to write the function because I already said this is the function name, right? So this function when you are defining inside the script tag means in the JavaScript. So you have to de denote this is the function. So that's why you have to write the function keyword, and that is the syntactual thing, no, nothing more than. So here you have to write the function. This is the syntax, and then you have to paste this function name, which I copied from here already. And now curly braces. These are the again syntax. So now I have taken one ID, and this ID I will get inside the script. Okay. When I will get this ID, so I will get the reference of this input field. And in my every videos, I had shown the same thing. So now in this video, I am not going to explain more about it. So just I will take one variable, variable keyword. I will add here const, and that I had shown you already. Like three kind of keyword you can define like const, const, let, and where. And here I will write document because entire thing we call the document, and those are called element body, input. Those are called element. So from this document, I want to get element, right? From this entire document, I want to get element. Which element? This input field element. So I will write. So that's why this way JavaScript created the uh, code. Like you can understand easily how why we are writing the doc get document. Okay. So document dot get element. Here I have to define one variable name. First of all, const and the variable name I will write here. Again, uh, my input field. By the way, this variable name you can write it. Okay, now again I will start to write document dot get element by ID because from this entire document, uh, first my target is this input field, this element. Okay, and from this element, my target is the ID. So get element by ID. Now I'll copy this ID name and parenthesis and inverted comma and then this input, my input. Okay. So now here I will add semicolon. And now what I am trying to do here that I will explain first of all. So when I will change any value in this input field, so that time I want to change the background color of this input field. So now I have taken the input field as reference inside this variable. So I will take this variable and I will write here dot style dot background. Then the color name. Whatever you want, I will add here red color. So what going on here? So this even occurs when value is changed. So here I have taken this event here. Okay, my function I have taken here. And when I'll change the value, so this this event will occurs. Means it will come here. And when I, it will come here, so inside this function it will get the reference of this input field and after that this input field background color i have changed i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt you can write in the comment section i'll try to solve your doubt now i'll open the browser here you can see now suppose now here i'm clicking see i focused on this input field and again i'm clicking outside of this window 
so but it is happening nothing right so here now if i change any value means if i type any value from my keyboard so i will type suppose a now it is not changed but if i click outside of this input field you can see it is changed background color is changed right again i'll show you if i type any kind of value now it is not changed but if i click the outside you can see this is changed right so hope it is clear if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and if you want to get more update in javascript so subscribe my channel also